this video is going to be all about duck soup and here are a few things you need to know before you pour your money into it and the most important question does it live up to the hype in 2023 let's get into it so duck soup is a very simple linkedin automation tool that sits on top of your linkedin account and makes it very easy for you to do a lot of manual tasks in a completely automated way tasks like sending people connection requests follow-ups start a conversation with them why should you even care you should care because linkedin is a great channel for b2b lead generation according to research linkedin is 277 percent more likely to get you a response than either facebook or twitter so you should definitely be on linkedin to generate leads for your b2b business if you want to stay ahead of the game in this video i'm going to be covering a few things an overview of what duck soup is pros and cons of using duck soup real life experience of duck soup users and what they say about using it and a breakdown of their pricing structure and finally an alternative that might be worth waiting for so let's get into the pros and cons the pros duck soup definitely helps you build your network on linkedin in a completely automated way you can set up multiple campaigns in an automated way and start reaching out to different audiences in parallel it's a low cost tool it won't burn a hole in your pocket and then there's a very nice integration with the crms out there all your data gets synced to your crm let's get deeper into the pros where does it really shine it has a 4.3 star out of 5 rating on g2 and 4.4 on captera so it's definitely Definitely something people like. How does it help build out a network of potential customers on LinkedIn? You can set up targeted searches on LinkedIn Sales Navigator or on LinkedIn and feed it into DuckSoup and DuckSoup will do the job of reaching out to them. You can obviously send them connection requests, follow up with them and you can export all those connections in a CSV file for further analysis or you can send them to your CRM. Uh, this guy really likes it. He says it's a fantastic tool to drive social selling strategy. What do you like best about DuckSoup? Building your network of potential customers on LinkedIn then automates the grunt work of making connections, scanning accounts into lists, and putting them in automatic message sequences. There's multiple campaign setup. That's the next point that DuckSoup users like. You can choose which campaign to run at what time, and you can pause, resume, and delete campaigns if you need to. The third thing people like is the cost, right? Like cheap, who wants to pay a lot of money for this stuff? There's a free version. I think you can just use it for tagging. The Pro Ducks is available for an amount as low as $11.25 a month. That's dirt cheap. And then there's the Turbo Ducks, which has some of their better features, and that's at $41.25 a month. The next thing people like is the integration with the CRM. They, you can automatically sync your LinkedIn connections to your CRM. They have popular integrations like HubSpot, Pipedrive, and Zapier. So they integrate with the two most popular CRMs on the market for small businesses and of course Zapier so that you can push it out to other software as well. You can add tags or notes to your connections based on their behavior and interests. And of course you can use your CRM to maintain a bird's eye view of all of your activity on LinkedIn. All So far so good, right? Seems like a great tool. Not so quick. There's a few things people hate as well for a balanced review let's get into what these are the top five things people hate about them user interface is complex and unintuitive it slows down linkedin and your laptop it can get you banned on linkedin there's limited invite functionality people really don't like the user interface so i had to say it twice the user interface can be quite illogical and intuitive this guy didn't like it he writes a very detailed review around it the most illogical ui i have ever, ever experienced the learning curve is really steep UX is horrible and he writes that in all caps. I guess I could start flying with jumbo jets sooner than learning this UI. Yeah, it is complex. Example, you can enter welcome message in two places with two different texts. The same about follow-up messages. When you start the robot, you see some kind of summary of what, it, what will be done, but the message is not displayed. You have to check what has been sent in LinkedIn. I offered help in pointing UI weak spots and informed that my offer will be considered and was informed that my offer will be considered, but nobody ever came back to me. In general, I spent approximately $400 extra in paid hours to solve technical issues and now after two months on the weekend, this robot failed again in parallel on both profiles in our company. If you are an Apple user, keep your fingers away from this bot. If you are a programmer and love complex user interfaces, go for it. So it really, you know, seems like a very old Android Nokia Blackberry experience versus people are more used to the Apple sleek user experience. A lot of people don't like it. The other thing is, it slows down LinkedIn a lot. You'll tear your hair out as well. So it can be frustrating. This guy says he's a small business user in staffing and recruiting industry. He says it's slow and pointless. It slows down LinkedIn. When you open a new page or list, there's at least a five to 10 second delay because duck soup is loading. It is seriously annoying when you can't click on anything. The LinkedIn limits on invites per week make the auto 
invite function literally null and void using duck soup you hit the limit in one day and cannot even manually send an invite for the rest of the week so after linkedin put in place a lot of the limits duck soup is even more useless it can get you banned on linkedin this guy definitely didn't like it he says what do you what do you dislike about duck soup getting banned that's not good also it's a chrome extension and the ui sucks we've heard of this then there's a limited invite function obviously this is not duck soup's fault but after the introduction of linkedin limits it's very hard to pay for a tool that does auto invites when you can send 100 invites a week manually so let's get into the pricing in a little more detail so there's three different personas that duck soup is priced for the individual which we've already covered the team and the agency for the team's plan it's priced at $14.99 per month or $11.25 when billed annually and the turbo is $55 per month or $41.25 when billed annually. The agency plan is $337 per month which can sound pricey but if you realize that you know it has 30 plus client seats it's actually pretty cost effective and then $412 per month has 10 plus client seats so it's again very cost effective as well what's the whole summary what i feel see duck soup is good if you're just starting out and you want to test out a few things before you get into the serious linkedin automation tools which will keep your account safe and not get you banned you can test it out but yeah if it's cheap it's the old ad you get what you pay for if you're just starting out you want to automate a few tasks you only have a few dollars to spend then it's not terrible you can spend 11 25 a month get started use it see what you like see what you hate but if you are looking for a serious alternative then we have one duh it's called sales robot you can use it if you are in a team or an agency and you want to get serious about linkedin outreach you can use it to reach out to hundreds of people a week and get more leads and manage all of it in a nice intuitive apple like user interface if you guys want to uh, learn more about sales robot jump into our free trial no questions asked uh, and we'll get you some good results that's it for me from now Bye bye